Pisces, welcome. You, like Aquarius, just started your own video. I don't know if I was quite ready, but let's get into it anyway. Okay, so Pisces, we are using the Soul Truth Self Awareness deck, uh, Oracle of the Seven Energies, and Osho Zen Tarot. Okay, so let's get these first cards here for you, Pisces. Just chuck that over there, and away we go. Three cards for Pisces, please. Three cards for Pisces, please. Pisces. Soul Truth. Self-awareness. Okay, we're just getting the right cards by the looks. of my head is fizzing like in my crown chakra so that's really interesting okay just connecting in stronger I suppose okay so okay Pisces first card out here is to whom am I comparing myself right now and the other two are, on whom am I placing the blame right now? Interesting. Do I know all my strengths and am I using them? Interesting. Let's start with this first card here, Pisces. What you are able to see in another is only visible because it is within you. Ready to be brought out. Shine light on this feeling of not enough and see the truth. All that you need and want is within you. Today's soul action, which don't just do today, do every day, okay? And come back and remind yourself if you need to of what those are. Okay, so today's is stop comparing and start creating. Interesting. Very interesting here, Pisces. So three cards for Pisces for this card. I really like that though, because you know when you're comparing yourself to someone else, it is highlighted to you because maybe there's something within your soul that's saying, look, look at this. Not to put yourself down, or to judge them, but to bring out within you. Or is it in you? What if it's something that you see in someone else and it irritates you? It's got me thinking now, got me thinking. Okay, so smoke and mirrors, smoke and mirrors, yeah. <clears throat> this is this reflection, right? Where there's smoke, there's fire, right? So is this something that is um, causing a bit of a stir for you, potentially? I would say so, Pisces. I would say so, because it's come up for a reason, right? Stop comparing and start creating. So how can you create... Yeah, this is, gosh, it's a lot of self-discovery. Like, you really have to dig deep inside, right? To not just, okay, so first of all, you have to become aware that, okay, I'm comparing myself. Why am I doing this? Like, why is it visible to me to be brought out in me? How can I do that? Why do I not even feel like I'm enough? to see that, like, because that's what the card's talking about, not necessarily someone who's irritating you, but that does cross my mind, but anyway, smoke and mirrors, two cards for smoke and mirrors, thank you, okay, smoke and mirrors, fighting and morality, 
is this is I feel like this is what goes on within you. I just wonder if some of you feel like you can't step out of the existence that you're in. Oh, I don't know if that's the right way of delivering it. It's like not not being able to step out of line, sort of, or 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 it's this comfort zone that you've got yourself into that everything's so neat and tidy that if you step out of it, it's going to mess everything up. And it's like, how do I do that? How do I actually do that and keep everything tidy? But maybe the point is not to. Maybe the point is to step out of it anyway. There's this internal battle going on within you, though. Like, and do you know what? There's this, this is jumping out at me, this mouthpiece over his mouth here. Is there something that you really desire for yourself that you're not speaking up about? Do you feel like your hands are tied for some reason? What is it? Are you looking at other people going, oh, I know that this is really good, but what if this, you know, it, it, what if it's like, say like if it's a job or something and you're like, I love my job, like it pays really well and I really enjoy the people and stuff like that, but I really want to do this, you know, or whatever it is, whatever it is, but anyway, yeah, interesting, okay, Divine Matrix is the next card here, <laughs> the Divine Matrix, this is, I feel like this is about you can creating that for yourself. A divine matrix, right? We've got the matrix, which is not so divine. And then we have the divine matrix. So what does that look like for you? You know? All that you need and want is within you. So that divine matrix is actually something that you can create for yourself. Two cards for Divine Matrix, please, for Pisces. We've got the mind and intensity here. It's like, actually, this is directing away from the mind. Like, let me out of here. For goodness sakes, this is far too intense. I can't deal. And it's sort of like needing to escape to this Divine Matrix. But using it as a way to create rather than escape, I would say. That would be a much better option here, Pisces. Okay. Close encounters. Just makes me wonder here, Pisces, which one you are. Are you in the cage or are you on the outside, hanging around the cage, not moving? Which one are you? Are you both? Is this representative of, this is a very interesting read here. Is this you comparing yourself to others? Oh, look at that butterfly, it's so much bigger than me. So much more beautiful, but it's in a cage. This one's going, oh, this butterfly out here, it's free and it's allowed to fly but it's stuck, right, you never know what's going on for other people, you never ever ever know, or other butterflies, okay, so two cards, one more card, there it is, there it is, the courage, the courage to grow, the courage to rise up into the light and fly your beautiful butterfly wings, the courage to stand up, stand up and speak, stand up and be heard, right rather than looking at what is already done and dusted rather than looking through the closed gate it's not serving you this flower here could have just sat there waiting for the nutrients of the soil to make it grow but it didn't it fought and it struggled because it knew where the light was 
and it's kind of like you need to turn around it's like you need to do a whole three well, not 360 because you'll end up in the same place but at least a 180 degree turn if not more even a little bit less but away from the gate all the same but do you know what the funny thing is i feel like this is this this is the cage and i actually feel like pisces you've put the chain on it and locked the gate and then you're like oh what do they do that for i don't even have the key <laughs> you know hello is anyone there you got the key so i can get back in or so i can get out you know this is this is kind of like self-made i feel anyway pisces on whom am i placing the blame right now a person who blames others has not begun their lesson. A person who blames themselves has begun their lesson. A person who blames no one has finished their lesson. I want to say about that, Pisces, is don't just sit there and, oh, well, I'm not going to blame anyone then because uh, then I don't have to do the lesson. That means I've done the lesson. Don't do that. Like, really be honest with yourself about it. Okay, because you're, you're even if you do that, it's not really going to make any difference to you. Because it's still going to be sitting there, ready to come up and be looked at. So, so do the work that is required behind it. Today's soul action. Take responsibility. On whom are you placing blame right now? Today, free yourself by releasing all victimhood, blame and resistance. They don't belong where you are going. Only love and courage live there. Yeah, see? See, this is not where love lives. Love doesn't live there. That's not where you're going. Turn away from there and move in another direction here, Pisces. Make a choice to do it. Even if you don't feel ready, listen to your heart. You will be led. Love that. I love that. And sometimes that can be the hardest thing to do. Or at least appear to be the hardest thing to do. It's the necessary thing to do. Okay, two more cards. One more card. Well, that's a new card. Haven't had that one out before. A powerful move. Okay, this is exciting. Hang on a minute. Okay, so a powerful move. This is cool. This is like a chess game, right? Sorry, let me show you so you know what I'm talking about. It's a powerful move, but it's not, not your standard chessboard, right? This is the king. Oh, and there's a key. There's a key and a keyhole here. It's kind of like, oh, wow, this is so cool. This is so cool, Pisces, because the king, it is the king, right? Yeah. The queen's down there. The king has the wings. The key is in the keyhole. <laughs> ready to be unlocked, ready to be unchained. I feel like this is you, ready to be unlocked and unchained. Wow, ready to shine bright here because this, this, what is meant to be the chessboard is like a disco ball, right? And the light is shining on it, reflecting. And I feel like that's your light. This is very cool. this is the thing Pisces is that when you play a game of chess it's up to you to be strategic to think ahead to make those moves right and if you get beaten by the other player you can sit there and blame that player all you like but you were in control of your pieces no one else they were just moving differently and when you get to the point and or you could go Oh, I should have done this or I should have done that. Dang. Or you could go, that's the nature of the game. Let's play another one. Right? A powerful move. Two cards for a powerful move. Oh, whip on the floor. Hang on. 
Okay, so I'm not surprised this came out because it flipped over before, but it didn't flip out of the deck. And this is always my you card, Pisces. Someone sitting in their kitchen pretending they're on the beach with their rose-colored glasses on. But what I love about it is it comes with this creator card here. You know, and this is this, this ability to create, you know, create your own chessboard, create your own moves, however you want that to be, right? And understanding that the, the power of the creation of your life lies with you, no one else, no one else but you. It doesn't matter whether you um, have other people around you, it doesn't matter whether you're on your own. It doesn't matter whether you're, you know, you might live in a in a in a place with 20 people. But you can't blame anyone but yourself for what it is that has been created in your life. Okay? So this is yeah. This is pretty cool. I really love this time machine. This is about travel. I feel like for you, Pisces, this is about how, how are you traveling, right? How are you traveling through life? Looking at how you've traveled so far and how you wish to travel in the future and what you're going to do in the now to influence how you travel in the future, right? Mm. And that is, what does that say? Take responsibility. Yeah, this is on whom are you placing blame. Today, free yourself by releasing all victimhood, blame and resistance. They don't belong where you are going. Right? Only love and courage live there. Yeah? So it's up to you to choose to do that. Okay, so time machine. Two cards for time machine. For Pisces, please. Okay, three. We'll go with three. Guidance. Guidance. This is this internal guidance, I feel. Listening to this internal guidance, not turning away from it. Your heart, your higher self, your oversoul, everything about you. All your bodies, your astral body, your emotional body, your mental body, all your bodies, right? Listening to them all. Your intuition, your instincts, Pisces. Bring it all in because it's all going to help you. Right? Travelling. Yeah, see, this is how you're travelling. It's kind of like there's this idea of where you want to go, but it's how you're travelling that is important. Okay? And we have this beyond illusion here. Yes, I really love this, looking beyond the illusion that you've created for yourself and getting into the truth of the matter. Because the illusion is not, it's just an illusion, it's a mind-made thing. Whereas reality is what you're living. So how, how can you turn your reality into this beautiful illusion that you've created into your mind? What can you do to do that? Rather than going, oh, well, if this person this, or if I hadn't had done that, then we would be able to be doing that. Um, but looking at how it's possible to get there and make that even more Amazing than what you ever dreamed it could be. Okay, endless possibilities. Yeah, I love this. This is this is really wishing upon a star, I feel, but looking at the, the reality of it, of it, how can I make this happen? Because this is my world that I am living. This is my world I am creating. So let's let's see how how that can be created. Okay, so two cards. One more card for endless creativity. Getting creative with it, right? Getting creative with it um, and experiencing it, becoming it, acting as though it is already in existence because it is and it can be, right? Because this, this card here, this is a major change in your life. And in order for that to take place, you need to embody that in your energy, in everything you do, right? If you want to grow an orchard of trees, be a tree. 
or pretend you're a tree, pretend it's there, imagine it is, what would that feel like, what would it smell like, what would it be like when all that's harvested, right? Even though they might just be little seedlings that haven't even popped through yet, right? Sorry, getting a little bit carried away here because it's a, this thing of being it, right? Anyway, do I know all my strengths and am I using them? Okay, reminds me of the magician for some reason. But anyhow, we all have superpowers, but it is up to us to uncover them. When we live and lead with our strengths, we are able to show up in our zone of genius. I love that. This inspires others to do the same, 100%. Okay, so today's soul, soul action. Ask yourself, how, how can I use one of my soul gifts today to contribute to this open and ready world? Yeah, see the world that you're creating, creating um, and it's already created, right? So how can you contribute to that? Right. You know, and this is this, um, what was it before? Um... You know that what you see in another is already within you. So it's how can you bring that out of you? Again, right? It's kind of wrapping that up. Okay, so we've done a bit of a cycle here. So two cards for this card here. Do I know all my strengths? And am I using them? Oh, three cards. Perfect. I thought I said two, but I didn't really mean to. If I did, oh, I love this Pisces. Yes, opening to discovery. See, see what happens, right? Where are we here? I need these cards. Like this is this opening to discovery here. Okay, turning away from this locked gate here. Turning away because this is what you'll find when you turn away and unlock that. Unlocking it. And man, oh man, oh man, look what's there. This whole new dimension. Wow, don't forget where you put the key though. This time. Okay. Opening to discovery. Two cards for opening to discovery. For Pisces, please. Let me pick this up. Okay. Ordinariness. Where's the other card gone? Oh, in a voice. In a voice. See, this is this is what I was saying before about growing this orchard, right? Growing this orchard may seem pretty ordinary, right? Um, but it's kind of like that dream, I suppose, in a sense of like what that is like to have that peace in your life, right? And using this inner voice to open this door of discovery which is the discovery of yourself, of this thing within you that you wish you possessed, that you see in others when you compare yourself to them. And it could even be a comparison to how you would like to be and how you're not right now. That's a possibility as well, Pisces. Shining through. Look at this beautiful flower of life shining through. This is you shining through what I was seeing in that other card, right? That I now can't find. Because it's gone and shone itself away. But anyway. Um, yeah. Shining through. Allowing you. The true you to shine. Um, two cards for shining through. For Pisces please. Oh, Pisces. Just about dropped everything then. I got too excited with what was coming out. Yeah. Look at this. The master. This is you shining through. This is you stepping into the truth of who you are, your authentic self. No apologies. This inner voice beyond the illusion, right? The creator standing in that and owning it, truly owning it. Dropping the burden of these expectations of what you should be doing and who you should be. Dropping all that and just being you. Body and soul. Body and soul. Yes, this is this combining. This is what this experiencing is. Combining the two. 
because for some of you it's almost like there's the separation of the two and there's need there needs to be the combination of the two interest at least in perception anyway it needs to be the combination of the two yeah stress hmm. For some of you, you're walking around as though things are going to give way on you and you're quite nervous about it. Um, and I feel like in order for you to let go, you need to go out and have a little bit of fun. Go and play, Pisces. Go and play. Dance in the rain. Jump in the puddles. It, it's sort of like this thing of don't take everything too seriously because it doesn't need to be taken seriously in the bigger scheme of things. Okay? Because when there's this, when there's this energy here, you're coming out of your soul, the truth of who you are. The master doesn't live in this, okay? The master also doesn't live in this. The master is in between. So Pisces, in that regard, find that balance for yourself, okay? So yeah, Pisces, I'm going to leave that with you, okay? Take care of your beautiful self. See you. Bye-bye.